This little device is a DPN device. DPN means Decentralized Private Network. It is from Deeper Network and it is called the Deeper Connect Mini. It sits between your home network and the internet so to provide your home network with online security and privacy and it doesn't need any subscription fee. On top of providing your home network with online security and privacy, it has also many other features like parental controls and smart routing to bypass geographical boundaries. In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect it physically and I'm going to show you also its settings so that for you to make the most out of it, I'm going to show you its operation modes and we'll be testing it. So let me start first by showing you how to connect it physically. The Deeper Connect Mini has two connection modes, the virtual wire mode and it is in case your router is separate from your modem so it will sit between your router and your modem and the router mode in case your modem is at the same time a router you connect the antenna module to the Deeper Connect Mini with the USB-C cable to any USB-C port of the Deeper Connect Mini and this way it will act as a router. In my case here I'm gonna show you how to connect it in virtual wire mode because I have a modem that is separate from my router. So this is the Ethernet cable that is coming from my modem to my router and it is connected on the one port of my router. You need to disconnect it and then connect it to any network port of the Deeper Connect Mini. So anyone will act as in or as out. So I'm gonna connect it here. And you have with the Deeper Connect Mini an Ethernet cable also. So connect it to the other port here. And now connect the other end of the Ethernet cable to the one port of your router. And now you need to power the Deeper Connect Mini. So it is provided with another USB-C cable and with a power adapter. You need to connect the USB-C cable to any USB-C port of the Deeper Connect Mini and then plug in the power adapter to the power outlet. When the LED light blinks green, it means it's ready. Once the device is connected and running, open a web browser on your PC that is connected to your home network and then go to 34.34.34 dot 34 to manage it and because it is not https you need to click here on continue to site the default user and password are admin admin so here of course you need to change them later i'm gonna show you how to do this so put admin admin and then click on login you are greeted with a message to download and install the new certificate i'm gonna show you how to do this so click ok here on the left click on ads blocker to expand it and then click on https filtering Enable HTTPS here and then here you see click download certificate, click on it and then the certificate will be downloaded. Click on open file to open it and to install it and then click on open, install certificate, choose local machine, next and then click on yes and then select place all certificates in the following store, click on browse and then select trusted root certificate authorities, ok, next finish and now the certificate was successfully installed the second step is to change the password so on the left here click on settings and then scroll down until you find change password click on change password and here let's change the admin password because it is really not secure i'm gonna put a secure password and then click on ok when you put the new password the third important step is to update the firmware of the device so click on device on the left and then scroll until you find system information and here you have firmware update see now it is set to auto update but i tested my device it was on version 1.0.2 and it wasn't updating automatically. So what I've done is that I clicked on manual update here. When there is a new version, it will show you the option manual update. So click on it to update the firmware of your device. So now let me show you what are the settings and what are the operation modes of this device. The device has three operating modes that you can find under DPN. So let me show them to you and explain them to you. So click on mode under DPN. The first mode and the default mode is the smart routing mode and the backup tunnel is disabled. I'm going to explain to you what is a tunnel and you have here an example of what will happen. So the applications will be routed through tunnels depending on the setup that you're going to do or that is done by default and all the other traffic will go to 
local IP, which means your ISP. So let me explain to you what's the tunnel first, and then I'm going to tell you how to set up all the modes. So this is the tunnel here on the left. Click on it. The tunnel is a route that your traffic will take. So here are the preset routes that you already have configured on your machine. You can add routes to any country you want. So here I'm going to add the route to Canada. So select region. It is in North America. Select country. I'm going to choose Canada. And then I'm going to click on add and I'm going to keep the default on the node selection mode domain aware. If you want to know more about this, let me know in the comment section below. So here you see that I added a route that is for Canada. So here, if you go to mode, I'm going to explain to you what is a backup tunnel. The backup tunnel, it means here when you select smart routing, that if one of the applications couldn't route through its preset tunnel it will go through the tunnel you specify here so here i'm gonna specify that i want it to route through canada and then apply and then okay now in the smart routing you have some settings that you can control one of the first settings is the app relocator so click on app relocator and you see here you have all the pre-configured apps on the device and you have many many apps and under each application you have here the rerouting so for each application you can choose how to reroute it either you choose a tunnel or a direct link or just keep it by default not set and if you don't find here the domain name or the application that you want you can go to smart rules and you can add the domain that you want and i'm gonna show you what i'm gonna do here so just before adding the domain i'm gonna show you something so that what i'm adding here will make sense so i'm gonna open a new tab and simply here i'm gonna go to what is my ip and then we're gonna see here that it detected the ip of my isp and it is in montreal so here i'm gonna add what is my ip domain so you put the domain name without www, without HTTPS, without anything. And here I'm going to change the tunnel for this domain to go, for instance, through Singapore. And then I'm going to click on add. So if I go to what is my IP again, and notice here that it went through Singapore. So this is how you reroute the domains you want and the applications you want. Now I'm going to show you the second mode. So under modes here, you have the full routing mode. And this will redirect all the traffic of your home network through one tunnel only. So here, for instance, it will be routed through North America and you have something called kill switch. It means that if the rerouting couldn't happen, the internet connection will be stopped. So click here on apply and then OK. And here, even if I had under smart rules, the what is my IP that is rerouted through Singapore is going to go through America. So let me test it. And you see here that it went through Connecticut. Now you have the third option, which is direct routing. And here everything will go through your ISP. So nothing will be rerouted. But you will have always the other functionalities of the DPN device. For example, the ad blocking and the parental control. And these functionalities will also work in the other modes. So let me show you these functionalities now. The first functionality I want to show you is the ads blocker. So on the left here, click on the drop down list and then click on HTTPS filtering and make sure to enable HTTPS filtering. I showed you at the beginning of the video how to install the certificate. This will block most of the ads. The second functionality I want to show you is the parental control. So click on it here and you have for now three categories that are predefined. So you can block everything adult. So here it is unblocked. Click the drop down list and then select block. And then you can also block social media and you can block the games. And if there is a domain that is not blocked here, click on this link here, which is the black listing. And you can add here on the right the domain that you want to block. So, for instance, if you want to block Facebook, just put facebook.com and then click on add. So, let's test Facebook. And you see that Facebook has been blocked because I blocked it here. If you want to unblock something, simply select it and then remove it from the list. Now, also, there is an important aspect of this device that you should be aware of. And that is this device is sharing your bandwidth with other users of the DPN network. So here you can see this information under settings. Click on sharing and then click on configuration and you see here that you are sharing your bandwidth and you can control or stop the sharing on this screen.
And there are many other functions for this deeper connect mini device. If I want to cover all the functions, this video will be very long. So if you want to check out this deeper connect mini device, I'm going to leave affiliate links in the description. If you make a purchase using one of my links, I'll gain a small percentage at no cost to you. And this will support my channel. And if you liked my video, please share it, subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. I want to thank you all for watching. I'm Eloy from Knowledge Sharing Tech. See you in the next video.